know by now, this week is Men's Health and Wellbeing Week. Yay! And if you listened to yesterday's video blog, you'd understand why I am focusing on men's health on a women's well-being side. That's because if your priorities are aligned and are healthy, your spouse or male significant other should be number two on your priority list. So let's dive right in. So one of the common questions I get asked is, Dr. Eno, I don't know exactly how to get my husband or my significant other to see the doctor. And that is the million dollar question. So here's some tips um, that may help make that process a whole less painful without coming out as being a nag. Now, we're all guilty of being nags, right? And I'm sure the men, if you're watching this video, will probably say, mm-hmm. So one of the ways I suggest is called mirroring. In other words, before you dive right in and begin to talk about a physical, you want to mirror a healthy lifestyle. Get your spouse enrolled in what it takes to live a healthy lifestyle. So there are some tips on that, you know, healthy eating, exercise, and make sure that that actually encompasses the whole household, not just you and your spouse. So you shouldn't be the person eating organic and then the rest of the house is eating, you know, fried foods and stuff or whatever. Um, you want to really enroll your spouse in the benefits of a healthy lifestyle. That way, more than likely, he gets to feel better, begins to see some results, and then wants to pay more attention to his physical well-being, okay? The second thing I usually find is that your spouse may not necessarily want to go to the same healthcare provider that you go to. Now, usually as women, we tend to want to seek out other women healthcare providers, you know, whether they are doctors or nurse practitioners or physician assistants, in as much as we are in short supply and demand and high demand, um, you may have come across a female healthcare provider really fall in love with, you know, the way she provides healthcare and automatically assume that your spouse would want the same healthcare provider. So again, in terms of the enrollment conversation, you want to get your spouse's thoughts. What are his preferences if he were to want to seek healthcare? Would he prefer a male healthcare provider or does he not mind a female healthcare provider? Just going ahead and schedule an appointment with your healthcare provider may not give rise to long-term benefits. Another tip is to actually begin the conversation without sounding nagging. You know, if you know that you want your spouse to have a physical sometime later on this year, you don't want to bring up the topic today and schedule the appointment tomorrow, okay? You probably want to find out, for instance, what are his fears, what are his concerns, and just gently keep on prodding him, not nagging him, encouraging him to go ahead and schedule that appointment. And the fourth thing, and I'm going to be a little mischievous here and a little playful, is that as women, we know we have a lot of power, and I encourage you to wield that power but wield it in an empowering way and not in a way that makes your man feel victimized, okay? So, yeah, create a reward system around, for instance, going to get that physical. So in a nutshell, get your man enrolled in a healthy lifestyle, mirror the healthy lifestyle, make sure that you choose a healthcare provider that is in line with his desires and his preference, and also create a reward system. I've left some articles. I'm going to leave some articles at the bottom here for your review. Go ahead and use that resource and let's get out. Let's get the conversation, the powerful dialogue started. Tomorrow, we'll be dealing with some common screening tests that your man should get when he gets to see the doctor. Until tomorrow, here's to your health and well-being. Goodbye, Dr. Anno signing off. Have a wonderful day.